I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Guys, 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 I'm in love. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. B's going to jail, my boy. Assault and battery for the win. Bro, this is a ser- This shit's serious. See this, like- See that, like, breathiness, but it's also, like, this lightness in song words. I really enjoy it. It's so- It sounds so pleasing to my ears, bro. I swear. Ooh, this is a long song. This is a long song, isn't it? Blood, sweat, and tears. Did you, get, did you just get slapped? Did you just get slapped by someone? <laughs> Who was is that J Ho? Who was that? <laughs> okay, this was a while ago because they all got short hair and they look younger. Like, wait, let's see. When was this? Seven years ago. Oh, this is an old song, bro. This is old as. Well, not old, but three years post debut, right? Oh, Jin in blonde hair looks pretty crazy. Looks way younger. That's what I've noticed. When they have like, when the K-pop idols, when the K-pop idols have like lighter hair, I noticed they look way younger. But when they have dark hair, they, 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 their features are way sharper, if that makes sense. And they look more mature when they have darker hair. Okay. Interesting beginning, bro. Oh, wow. Nah. See, this is what I say when I mean Jimin is crazy. What is that? How do you, how does he sound like that? How do you, how does he sound like? We've got to replay that. We're going to play it back. <laughs> hey young, put your dogs away. Put those dogs away, Tay. <laughs> I'm joking. Nah, that's crazy, man. I always forget how crazy Jimin's vocals are. Okay, um... <laughs> Is he serious? Is he serious right now? Is Yungi serious right now? Nah, look. It's moments like this. It's moment. <laughs> it's moments like this where I realize that I am very, very bisexual. <laughs> it's, it's moments like this when I see shit like this. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, sorry. So pretty. I can't move on from this, guys. Guys, I can't even move on from this. How do I even continue from this beautiful sight? Okay, sorry. Let's continue. Have some decorum. Deep breaths. Let's do this. Oh, 
chocolate cheeks and chocolate wings. But no, you're not getting it out of your gut. No, you can sweep up and beat up your gut. I love Namjoon's like deep voice, like kind of like. Wait, one sec. <laughs> but yeah, I love uh, Namjoon's like deep voice, like slow rap. So cool. All right, let's go back. Ah, Tae Young, bro. This is why he's my favorite vocalist on the team. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I've heard this. Like, I haven't heard this song, but I've heard this, like... I've definitely heard this part. Like, I've definitely heard this part before. Like, I don't know when, but I've definitely heard this part somewhere. Uh, maybe on TikTok or, like, I don't know, somewhere. Okay, pause, J.O. What's that, bro? I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything, guys. I'm not going to say anything. I didn't say anything. I just paused it. That's all I did. I didn't say anything. You can... <laughs> Bro, Jin looks so innocent in this. Bro, the, I love, like, just the constant, like, falsetto in this song. You know what I mean? Like, everyone's doing it. It's not just Jimin. Like, Jimin's doing it crazy. I think he's probably the best when it comes to, like, that high... When it comes to that high pitch... Not high pitch, but, like, high register, I think Jimin is probably the most um, talented of BTS, just from what I've seen so far. Um, but, yeah, they're all sounding really fucking good. Yeah, I've definitely heard this song before. Like, it's so familiar to my ears. Mm. Bro, they're such good dancers. The transitions are pretty cool as well. Okay, put that tongue back in your fucking mouth, Taehyung. Put that tongue back in your mouth. I don't know what you think this is, but it's not a whole house. I'll tell you that much. I'm convinced, bro. I'm convinced that it's like a prerequisite before you get become a K-pop idol. It's like they... they examine your lips to make sure you've got really nice lips and then they're like okay you can be a k-pop idol now because why does not one k-pop idol have like bad lips like tell me if you can prove one k-pop idol that has like thin like you know unflattering lips then i swear i will i don't know throw you a party or something because it's impossible they all got these luscious beautiful lips and i don't know i i, I think it's a prerequisite i'm pretty sure I feel like if you don't have good lips, you can't be a K-pop idol. That's like the first test they do before they make you debut. I'm convinced. He too was a tempter. He too 
was the link to the second. I love the, the colors on this is crazy. You got the pure like darkness on the red. It's like beautiful, beautiful. The world with which I no longer wanted to have anything to do. <clears throat> that Yungi? Yeah. I saw the piano and I me immediately thought Yungi. I feel like Jin's the main character, right? Of this, like... I'm not talking about the music side of things. Like, the storyline of it, it seems like Jin is almost, like, the main dude. Like, he's the main guy in this. Well, who's that? Bro, that guy's back. Who's that? His back is pretty fucking broad. Kinda looks like Taehyung, but... I didn't know Taehyung was fucking jacked like that, if it is him. Yeah, he's definitely the main character. How much people were jealous of this statue when this first came out? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking, bro. I'm not. I'm not joking, but like, I'm just. Oh, everyone wanted to be this statue for sure. Nah, everyone wanted to be the statue 100% when this dropped. Nah, that's hilarious. I, I needed. I wish I could go back seven years in the past to be like. To view the reaction to this because people were probably dying. Imagine there was TikTok seven years ago. The amount of TikToks there would be. Crazy. Wait, is t okay. Okay, I think I get what's going on. I think I get what's going on. So, Jimin, I mean, not Jimin. Sorry, his voice fucking fucking with my brain. Jin kisses the statue, which is, I guess, like a devil, right? And then it goes to Taeyong, who has the devil wings. So does that mean he is the devil that Jin kisses? Or maybe Jin kisses him, and then the devil statue comes alive, and that's Taeyong? Ah, oh, no, bro. See, this is why I don't like following the storylines, because they confuse me. The fuck out of me. So does that mean Jin kissed Taeyong technically? <laughs> if I'm right about that. And I feel like um, Jin is supposed to be like an angel of some kind. Oh, is he a statue as well? Oh my God, I'm confused. Okay, so he had a crack in his face. Does that mean he's turning into a statue? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Okay, whatever. We're, we're just not going to think about it too much. Let's just move on. Let's just move on, guys. Um, fake love. Okay, let's see. I just want to see what the time. Okay, we'll do like three more songs, I would say, and then we'll might end the stream. Um, well, actually, you know what? We'll do three more songs, and then we'll um, we'll. Uh, I just want to see if I have. What's the time? I might have time. I don't know. We'll see. Well, for now, we'll just continue and see what happens. Big hit entertainment. Fake love. A lot of people were recommending this. Like in every PDS video, everyone's like, do fake love, do fake love. So let's see. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why. That choreo creeped me out. As soon as it started, it just creeped me out. I don't know. It was so creepy the way they did that. It's not bad, but it just it just creeped me out. 
You know what it kind of reminds me? You know when like a spider like runs really fast on the floor? That's the vibes I'm getting from that. Okay. Bro, this is okay. This is why I like J Hope though as a rapper. He does it. I love his flow when he does like, like listen here. Where it's like, you know that kind of like flow. I love it. It's so cool. It's so cool. Okay, so it's the so let's wait. Talk about the song itself. The song seems to be about like a toxic relationship that's kind of got to such a point where you like stop trusting yourself. You know what I mean? Like you know how you have sort of those relationships where it's like it gets to such a toxic point where you stop kind of trusting your own decisions almost. Where it's like You've made continuous shitty decisions that's led you into this spot. spot. So you just like, you were like, I don't know if I'm even fucking doing the right thing anymore. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Like, that's kind of, that seems to be what it's about, um, which is kind of cool. Mmm. Oh, that line is crazy. That's such a cool line. I grew a flower that can't be bloomed in a dream that can't come true. That line goes hard because, like, think about it, right? So if we if we try to look it through the metaphors, right? I grew a flower that can't be bloomed in a dream that can't come true, right? So you've got an idea. Let's say the flower is love. Let's say the metaphor for the flower is love, right? So you trying to grow love in a relationship or a situation where that love can't be fully realized or comfortably received or like it can't grow into anything, right? So that's a grow flower that can't be bloomed, right? In a dream that can't come true. So that's pretty self-explanatory. It's that idea of like, you know, let's say you're in a relationship and you, you like, I don't know, maybe you want, you're looking, um, you're looking for the relationship to end in a happy ending or whatever, but then these two people don't kind of match. So the happy ending can't ever be, re I really like this lyric, bro. I love this lyric. It's so poetic, actually. I don't, I don't know who wrote this, uh, the lyrics for this, but absolutely beautiful. Fuck, Tay Young, my boy, for real. I love his vocals. Fake love, fake love, fake love.
I just realized his teach his t-shirt matches the the chocolates. I love how fucking cinematic their music videos are, man. So cool. Like, it, they actually feel like movies. Ooh, that's very interesting. That's a very interesting imagery because it's like... So he's got sand in his hand and it's kind of coming down. And then off from above his hands, you have like, I think they're love hearts. Okay, maybe not. I thought they were love hearts coming out. It's still cool. But like my idea was if it was like, it was the idea of like, the concept of like sand usually resembles time being wasted. You know what I mean? Because you got sand is usually like connected to time passing, right? So I thought they were love hearts coming out of his hand. So I thought it was like time is passing. Um or, or it's like kind of like time is falling through your hands while you um you know spend your 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 you waste your time on this fake love. That's what I thought it was resembling, but it just looks like ashes. Still really cool regardless. Okay. This is definitely has some meaning that I've got no fucking idea about, but... Bro, Jungi's smile, bro. My man looks like a straight villain. My man's a straight villain. I swear I love him. That's a man. Okay, so it's kind of the idea of like being in a relationship where you have to kind of not be who you are and kind of craft this idealized version of yourself to um to behave in the way your partner or the other person like expects or wants. So it's like you are kind of like this just dull without any agency or anything. And it's just like the idea of fake love is like, you love this idealized version that I'm presenting to you. That's, I think that's what it's talking about. Yeah, okay, that's what it seems to be. Oh, that line is like, it's pretty fucking crazy. I wish love was perfect as love itself. That's actually crazy. Because like, think about what's being said. There's two year it's the same exact word, but it's being using being used in different contexts. So we, I wish love was perfect as love itself. So it's like the first love is talking about the idea of um the the personal experience of love this person has with the other person. And then the second love is being used as just the concept of love and just how perfect and nice it sounds. But in reality, love is pretty fucking 
it's a hard experience because it's so easy for love to turn toxic like this, like this. It takes one click for love to become unhealthy and toxic. I love that line. I grew a flower that can't be bloomed in a dream that can't come true. Honestly, I'm going to say that was probably my favorite BTS song so far. Um, th probably my favorite BTS song so far. I really like that. Like the meaning behind that was, I really enjoyed. Black Swan. Okay. This song is like, I've, okay. So before I got into K-pop, this is, this is why uh, this is interesting to do this. So before I ever got into K-pop, I remember like, this was my first time I, like, I remember seeing a thumbnail of this years and years ago, right? I used to, I saw this thumbnail years and years ago. And that's when I first discovered that, like, K-pop was a thing. Like, I never got into it. And I think maybe a week after I remember seeing the thumbnail of this, I, I would have been maybe, let's see, when did this come out? I'm just trying to remember. I would have been in my early 20s, I think. Not early. Maybe I was 23, 24. I can't remember. Anyway. And I remember seeing the thumbnail for this phase. I never ended up watching it or anything. But then I was going out. Um, I was going out with this. Uh, I was going out with this guy. And he was a massive K-pop fan, right? And I remember being over his house. And he's like, he's like, you got to watch this. You got to check these guys out. You got to check. I'm like, okay, whatever. Sure, whatever. And I think we listened to maybe like 30, I listened to like 30 or 40 seconds of this song. And at the time I was, the headspace I was in, I just had no interest in K-pop at that time at all. Like, so I, I didn't really listen to it properly or anything, but I just remember it being this song though. It was just really funny. Like this is, this is my first time officially listening to it since then. Um, I, I am definitely reading the chat. Like, what do you mean? Like, uh, part of their love series, first album is about love being perfect. Then Terry's realize it isn't worth it if you're changing yourself and starting to crap because you're not staying true to who you are. Then the final answer, which is basically you can't love others well, loving yourself to so love yourself. Boom. <clears throat> so let's do this. This is going to be interesting. Let's see if I remember anything from this song. Okay, interesting track, beginning. Wait, who was that? That's Yungi, right? He kind of sounds like how, you know how, like he sounds similar to how he sounded in Amigadala, Amigala, I never know how to say that word. He, it kind of, it's like a similar effect. Okay, Jimin, I see you. Okay, look at that movement, bro. It's like his movements are just so elegant, you know, Jimin? I just can't believe it. Honestly, I think I think Jimin's my favorite dancer in BTS. I think he is. Yeah, I think he is so far because there's just something about his movements, just so elegant, bro, and it's I don't know, just so nice to watch, you know.
Bro, tell me why I thought that was Jungkook the whole time. What the fuck? I just realized Jin and Jungkook look so alike. Because they both have the long hair. So I was like, what the fuck? Oh, okay. That's definitely, that's def there's definitely some meaning behind those wings. I'm not sure exactly what it is. The song talks about the loss of the artist's passions for music, how the loss of passion represents the artist's first death. Oh, yeah. And it's like when you get, when you, when the passion's reignited, it's like you've kind of been born anew. Yeah, that's, I like that. So it's almost like their rebirth as artists. It's like kind of talking about that idea of like, you know, we had that experience where we were burnt out and we thought we were going to quit, but now we're back and we're going to do this for real. Like we're going to, we're going to smash it. Like that's kind of the vibe. It's like they've come back like Phoenix rising from the ashes. <laughs> I love Jin's voice, man. He's like Jin's voice. It's like it does this weird thing where the, I can't even specifically tell you what I love about Jin's voice, right? I can't tell you oh this and this and this, but like when I listen to him doing his vocals, um, when I listen to his like vocals, it just scratches something in my brain that. I don't understand what it is. I can't tell you. If you ask me, why do you like Jin as a vocalist? I couldn't tell you. I, I, I have no idea. But there's, his just voice just, just does something in my brain. It just scratches an itch that no other voice does. And I don't know what it is. I can't tell you the specifics or the strategies or the skills he's using. It's just the way his voice is. Like, I, I don't know. I can't tell you. Black Swan explanation. Based on a quote from the dancer, the dancer dies twice once they stop dancing and the first step is more painful. They applied this to their creative process how they were scared they might lose passion for creating music. Okay. Um, okay, cool. Cool, cool. Mm. I love that, but look at me now, film me now. Like, I love that. Like, it's so cool. It sounds so cool. I love how elegant this, like, music video is. Like, it feels like they're kind of doing ba ballet almost. And the lighting is really cool. Like, very, like... It's very like muted, ah uh, shit. It's very like muted lighting, so it's not like too, you know? It's not bright or anything, but it, but it like, I feel like adds to the point of the song as well, the lighting. Very cool. Like, I feel like this is a very cool shot. You know what I mean? Cause I feel like it symbolizes, like the light shining on them, right? That I feel like that light kind of symbolizes their fame and their successes and like just their the brightness. But then the dark the, the dark colors I feel like is like referencing their doubts and you know the dark thoughts you have as someone in a field like this and you know just that kind of the dark side of it or the 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 less glamorous side of being an artist. You know what I mean? I feel like that's what the that's the dichotomy between the light and the darkness. I don't know if that's the case. That's just the way I'm reading it. That's really cool though. 
Wait, what was that? Interesting. It's like them. It's like a. It's like a bowing figure, maybe bowing to like their fans or the audience, and then you have just Jungkook just standing here. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. It's like he's bowing towards the stage of the shadow, but then he walks away from the. Interesting. I'm I'm not sure how to read it, but it's very intriguing. Like the cinematography of it is really fascinating. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Guys, 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 I'm in love. Oh shit. Oh shit, B's going to jail, my boy. Assault and battery for the win. Bro, this is a ser- This shit's serious. See this, like- See that, like, breathiness, but it's also, like, this lightness in Songwon's- I really enjoy it. It's so- It sounds so pleasing to my ears, bro. I swear.